A wise man once travelled through a village, acting foolishly and playfully, causing the villagers to question his wisdom. When asked why he behaved this way, he replied, In my foolishness, I find freedom from the constraints of seriousness, for true wisdom lies in play. Sometimes I do things just to feel alive, to feel free and to express the child within. These carefree moments make me feel like I'm still playing in this world. They remind me to not take life too seriously. Oftentimes we have the tendency to get very bogged down in seriousness and this is often due to the many responsibilities and pressures of adulthood. But in order to remember the bigger picture, at any time we may proactively choose to partake in something high-spirited, something wild, and something playful. And what this can really do is it can remind us to have fun, it can remind us to enjoy the game of life. And importantly, it can also help us to recognize the wisdom within play. Have you ever really felt into the purity and perfection of a child's laughter? This is what propelled Hote, otherwise known as the Laughing Buddha, into enlightenment. The story of the Laughing Buddha within Zen Buddhism reminds us of the joy and light-heartedness of enlightenment. It encourages Zen practitioners to see beyond the illusions of ego and societal expectations, recognizing the inherent playfulness of existence and finding a deep sense of liberation through embracing life's playfulness. As painful and brutal as the world can be, it is magnificent and exquisite too. And I like to believe that creation would not have crafted such an intricate and colourful world if it were not meant for us to savour and delight in its beauty. So I feel like the universe, it really invites us to engage with it joyfully and to appreciate all that it has to offer. Sometimes we must simply remember to just let go and have fun to follow our bliss, to follow whatever makes us smile, to follow whatever brings us a pure sense of joy. And sometimes, yeah, we just, we just have to lighten the load a little to get away from the grind of life, even if it's just for a few moments. And this will just help us to release the tension that we're holding and to just lighten up a little. As children, we naturally embody our formless essence, living in a state of pure awareness, curiosity, awe, joy, and, of course, playfulness. However, as we grow older, we begin to form an ego, a separate sense of self. We encounter responsibilities and hardships, and life's challenges can often cloud our view of reality and the bigger picture the dark storm clouds obscuring the sun. And as we navigate adulthood, we may become bogged down by the weight of life's burdens and everything can start to feel heavy and overwhelming. The mind may turn against us. It may start attacking us, leading to states of depression and anxiety. And in these moments, it becomes all too easy to believe that the world is solely a dark and frightening place. But the universe and life itself is like a grand cosmic game created by the ultimate reality. It's like all of the objects within the one source of everything are partaking in the game. And as human beings, we are participating in the human game. So if you believe in reincarnation, then you can see that each lifetime in whatever form it takes is like a strategic step forward 
in the grand game of the soul's evolution. And so, though our problems, thoughts and emotions appear all-consuming and never-ending in the moment of their unfoldment, the bigger picture is that they will pass. Just like all of the other problems, thoughts and emotions before them. And there is a much bigger reality at play here. There's a much bigger game at play. So big that our tiny human minds couldn't even begin to grasp it. And so, in the meantime, we can just try and enjoy the game. In Hinduism, creation and destruction are seen as playful acts of the divine. The play of God is referred to as Leela. For more information about this, see my video titled, What is Leela? The Divine Play. The belief in the soul reincarnating again and again indicates that we are all simply just playing in creation, playing in form, dancing between lifetimes, having experience after experience, spiraling playfully through the many realms of existence and enjoying the play of form. So think carefully about what makes you feel alive in a pure way and do it. We are never too busy for play, so make time for it. Even a tiny moment of letting go can be profoundly rejuvenating. So maintaining a mindful balance of playfulness in our life can be super effective at just keeping darkness at bay and from preventing that darkness from obscuring our vision of the true reality. So through really embracing these moments of joy and play, we can actually really connect to the cosmic dance of existence. We can really connect to our natural essence and we can really transcend our limited perceptions of what it means to truly be alive. So thank you so much for watching this video. My name's Jasmine. If you like this kind of content, please like and subscribe. I want to say a big thank you to my current subscribers. Um, yeah, thank you so much for being here. And yeah, I'll see you in, I'll see you in the next video. <laughs> bye, 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 bye.